All right, back by popular demand, we are doing an update to the Golf Sim Garage. Let's start with the net. This net, I found this on Amazon. It's actually $20 cheaper than the net I had. So we're now minus $20 from the previous video. If you have not seen the previous video about where all this stuff came from and how much it costs, I'll link that up above. But if you are new to the channel, we built one half of the garage into the lowest cost functional simulator we could possibly do. Um, we've added some stuff since then, and I just want to give you an update on what that is. First update, the crossbar. I took the PVC out of that and went and bought a closet wooden dowel and some foam insulation for piping. I had to sand the end of the dowel just a little bit to fit into the one inch PVC couplings, but after that uh, it works really well. The padding from the insulation helps it not ricochet all over the place and I don't break it anymore. I also replaced this one and you can see it's got the padding as well. That's the shank uh, pole, and I've broken that before. Everything else has stayed pretty much the same. We have canvas in front. Um, I'm going to swap these. This one's in front right now, and it's taken a beating over a little bit, so I just have to turn this one in front. And then these are only 19 bucks, and they've lasted about five months before they start ripping. Uh, and then I just do some sort of configuration change and that's all good. Behind that is one more canvas and then the nets. And you'll get that net and the new net. So far we're a little bit cheaper because we found a cheaper net on Amazon. We have zip tied that net out a little bit from the top which is new I can hit higher lofted lob shots now into this the mat is the same the hitting mat and the Garmin R10 is the same a new update for me for how all this records is I got the GS Pro playing on the computer and then I'm running everything through this laptop and OBS Studio to get the phone recorded. Where's the phone? Phone, the game, the rear camera, and then we can still project it with the projector. So we're still around uh, 1100 bucks. The dowels do cost a little more uh, than PVC. They're about 12 bucks a piece. And so you'll want to get a couple of those in your impact zones, just so you're not replacing it. And when it breaks, the whole thing just sags and collapses and it's no fun. So get those, get a mat. Um, this mat, I've just rotated it every couple months and it's still good. It's getting a little bit of the indention where I've hit a bunch, but then you just kind of rotate and find a new place to swing from. The technology is working good. The Garmin's working good. We have a TV in here with uh, a Roku and an Apple TV hooked up to it so that we can watch games or whatever. Um, I also watch things on my phone and then project and play. So that's the setup. I can hit iron shots and stuff um, just fine driver I have to choke up a little bit and swing a little side to side because the ceiling isn't quite as high as I'd want it to be but for like a little over a thousand bucks you can do the Garmin R10 a used projector on eBay the mat was from eBay the PVC cage the net from Amazon the canvas from Amazon um, and you're good to go. That's it. That's the basic stuff. You need a computer. Um, 
you don't need a computer if you don't want GS Pro. Um, I run GS Pro at the moment, but before that I was just playing on the E6 Connect, the Awesome Golf Trial, all the stuff that runs through the phone for the Garmin is actually quite good, um, and you can play those as much as you want without a computer. So um, if you want to project it though, you do need the dongle. This guy right here. That'll get you the lightning to HDMI and charge the phone while you're playing. So you also need everything to be on the same network. But other than that, that's about it. That's the update. I wanted to let people know that the PVC cage is holding up great. The net I found from Amazon is great. The tarps are lasting about five, six months before they start ripping. Um, and then I've replaced the cross beams in the back, uh, where's my hand? In the back and in the back corner with wooden dowels that you can buy for your closet um, and then wrap them in some foam insulation and that seems to be pretty much foolproof. They don't even phase when a golf ball hits them. So that's it. Any questions, comments below, do it. Anything else I'm missing, let me know. And we will uh, do another video. Thanks for watching.